Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and I make a lot of automation with UiPath. We have the Salesforce connector, ServiceNow connector, Jira connector and so on. I did some stuff with uh, Microsoft Teams and one of the clients asked me <clears throat> how I do on Microsoft Teams, how the, the system is able to respond to, uh, to personal message, to direct messages. And I create a robot for this and we'll see how this is working and then I will explain you everything. As usual, on my code, I will share the code with you. I will put it on GitHub. Let's run the code, then let's see uh, uh, how it's working. So I will say to my colleague to start uh, writing because one of my colleagues will, will write me some data and the robot will be able to understand the, the data and respond to the data. So the robot, like the, in the other movies, uh, has in the, the, in, the back, in the backstage, the robot will have a database. So basically you will put there an... Um, I have like this. So I have what's your car, tell the name and so on. Yeah. So from this one, the robot will be able to tell tell the data and answer to, to this stuff. So let's see uh, how it is. So here is the first one, which um, because he was uh, copying with the... Um, so please tell your name and the system will be able to respond uh, uh, John. Uh, this one will you know, work also with misspells. So if you put uh, 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 you put misspells on the um, uh, on the system, if you put misspells on the system, the system will be able to recognize this because he's using a Levenstein uh, system. So you have a, a string operation with Levenstein, and also uh, you will have uh, um, he will be able to put uh, the, the stuff. So you recognize the system. So this one is not on the list. And you see that sorry, the robot is not able to answer, uh, not able to um, to answer to this. For this one, it was favorite color was yellow. And if you take a look here inside of the um, uh, inside of it with E, so the system was able to con um, convert what with what is, yeah. See what do we have in case of. Um, um, in case of this one, uh, let's say, please uh, give me also some um, misspells on uh, what's your name, what, uh, uh, what, your, your name. So the idea, uh, 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 the idea is like this. Um, uh, you will see here that the uh, the word is please tell me your name. And uh, when I write it, I write it with uh, misspells. So you can write it with uh, without some characters. And because um, what's your name? You see, let's try it like uh, uh, like this. I will send him the. Um, uh, the the stuff to be like this to understand that look even if it's your favorite color he was able to uh, uh, to do it so try this and you see that he's not able to get uh, uh, all the stuff uh, he's not able to uh, to get all the stuff and uh, um, um, the system will be able to understand this one because. Uh, is please uh, tell your name is John. And let's explain what is inside of the robot. And the robot can uh, can respond to multiple users on the same on the same time. Yeah. So you you see that it's able to understand them, uh, even he has misspells inside and he will answer. It's able to understand if he has more uh, more words. If he has an image or something else, it's um, uh, it's able to understand that. Is not working with an image. Uh, is not working with a text, and because he's not working with a text, he's not able to understand. How are you? How are you? Is not part of the um, um, the elements, the key that I provide to him, so he's not able to answer, and that's why he said this and so on. Yeah. So the robot is able to talk with you on multiple levels. So let's see what is inside of this robot, and let's explain step by step what is inside. And I usually like uh, on my movies, I will put the 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 code on the GitHub. Yeah. So on GitHub here, I will put on the description of the movie, you will have the code. So uh, first, 
if you are new to this stuff with uh, Microsoft Teams, please check these two videos. Yeah. So I have a simple chatbot with um, with Microsoft Teams, and I have a chatbot with Microsoft Teams that are working only groups. But there you can learn, so you can uh, the system can. Uh, put the robot to learn um, uh, different questions, different answers, and so on and so on. I developed uh, some nice stuff here. But one request from um, uh, from the comments was to make this stuff on the chat, and let's see how it's working on, on, on chat. Yeah. So to be able to work with chat, I will do like this. I will read that Excel, let it's call my database for uh, um, uh, for the answer of the robot. Then I will convert this one to... Um, to a dictionary, yeah, and on dictionary, I will I will um, save it as uh, with a trim and lowercase to be able to, for me to easy to compare. Now I have the Microsoft Teams scope where I configure the uh, the system to work with Microsoft Teams. You have all the configuration here on the simple chatbot with with Microsoft Teams, and then if I work with chats. Here I have a do while it's an, a, a do while loop. It's a true a while true to be able to uh, to stay on a loop. Yeah. So I will get chats. Yeah. So chats are only the uh, uh, the stuff that uh, so on the activity on the team activities. If you write get chats, get uh, chats. You see here you can get the channels. So last time we work with channels. Now we work with uh, only with chats with direct messages. Yeah. So basically, I will work with, uh, I get uh, all the chats that are active. So in my case, for example, here I talk with Mircea and with Iwan. Yeah. And uh, then I will search on the chats. So this get chats will provide, uh, on, on this get chats, I will provide an, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's see here on the, um, this will return me a list of chats. Yeah. And then on this list of chats, I will go to each chat and I will get the, um, the the chat and um, with the ID, yeah, and then I have to check if the chat it's one on one type. So I'm working now only on the direct messages, yeah. To be able to work with direct messages, I will say that if the chat type equals chat type one on one, yeah. So this I'm sure that I will uh, I will address only to direct people that address me, yeah. Now, uh, when I uh, when I define that this is the um, uh, direct message. I will go and get the messages, and this will return me the the messages from the chat on the last order. So we return it like this from the uh, from the last one to the first one, yeah. And now I will sort the messages, yeah. So I'll do it for each one the message, and I will I will check only the messages that are uh, uh, right to me. So basically. If I answer to this message, I will not take the messages from uh, behind. So I will check each message has an ID. So I have the ID of the, the my person and I have ID of Mircea. Yeah? So if Mircea will write me uh, three messages here on the row, the system will be able to uh, to read only Mir Mircea ID, not my ID, because uh, this is the uh, the limitation that I put. If the ID of the message different of my ID then I will break, yeah? You see? So my ID now, I, I save it like this. So I have it here. Uh, this is my ID on, on, on my chat. Uh, to be able to get your ID, you have to send a get message. And on the get message, so let's say that you talk with a new person. So let's say I will talk with, uh, with a new guy. And on the new guy, I will, write, uh, I will write him a message. If I will go on that chat and extract the message ID, I will get my ID and I will save it and I will keep it that always my ID will be uh, will be that format. Yeah. So that's why I save my ID. And with this logic with my ID, I'm able to get only the messages that my client will send to me. Yeah. And I will not get, uh, I will not uh, interact with all messages where I respond. So I don't interact with all messages where I already respond. Yeah. Good. So let's go further and let's see what we have inside. So first, I will extract the body of the message. To be able to extract the body of the message, uh, the idea is like, this. let's click here and uh, let's make it bigger. So the message is body content. And here I have to, uh, to do some adjustment of the message. So the adjustment of the message is, for, ex for example, if I have this one, I will convert it to space is, yeah? To make the the comparison well and to make the um, Levenstein distance and all all this stuff. Uh, 
Uh, then if I have space uh, uh, question mark, I will put it to question mark. Uh, then I will remove uh, P and P, um, this one because it's the message is coming like an HTML, yeah? So I want to filter this stuff, yeah? So I will, uh, because he's able to write with multiple colors and so on. Then I will make it trim to remake the spaces from the beginning and the end. And then I will say it also to lower. Uh, again, to be very easy for the compare, to not add different uh, stuff on the on the comparison stuff, yeah? So to clean my message, I will do all this stuff. Then I will check on the message if contains spam. Uh, the idea is like this. You see my message that um, it's coming with... Um, um, it's coming with color. That means he write P and span and so on. So he has a format on HTML. You have some uh, format like this with uh, with styles and um, uh, and so on. The idea is um, when someone is copy paste a message and put it here, uh, could be with uh, uh, with different characters. Yeah. So you can put here on your write something. You can see the you want bold and so on. So basically, you can format how you want your message. Yeah. And to avoid this stuff and extract all this message, I use this filtration. So if I have span and so on, <coughs> I will cut. I will replace the uh, first. I will replace the the span with um, uh, with nothing. The end of the uh, the span. Then I will find the the first uh, part of the span plus six. And six is because I have two characters, another two characters, and another two characters. Okay, and then I will find the end of uh, this one. So I want just the core message. I don't want all the HTML uh, header and so on, yeah? So I do all this um, um, logic of the string to remove all the uh, strange stuff about color, about uh, the weight of the, uh, the characters and so on. Good. Then if I have an image, I have also to analyze because here you can see that Mircea sent me an uh, icon, yeah? So an emoticon. And the system was able to uh, recognize that this is something else. I'm not able to analyze. The robot is also not able to analyze um, the emoticon. So the idea is that if my system will contain an image, I put here a message and I respond with the same Im image. So here I respond with, uh, with the same image. And on the image, uh, then so I respond with, with the body and I say, on this body, this is uh, it's something else. So it's something that I'm not able to understand, yeah? So in this way, I understand that you send me an image and I'm not able to analyze it and it's not part of my uh, uh, my system. If it's not contain an image, the system should be clear, uh, The uh, uh, should be a clear text, yeah? So if it's a clear text, I will go and search if this is in spite of my document. To be able to... Uh, um, to work with dictionary, you will see here that you have some activities for dictionary, but this activity is not coming by default in Studio. So you see dictionary are part of Microsoft activities extension, yeah? So you have to search here on the uh, activities extension uh, and on the activities extension, uh, activities extension, you have to install this one, yeah? Uh, on uh, on all the packages, uh, you have to install Microsoft um, uh, activity extension, yeah? So it's important to look this on Microsoft activity extension to be able to use the, the activities from dictionary. Okay, done. So if key exists on the dictionary, so I check if what Mircea write me, it's existing on the dictionary. If I found this, perfect. I will go, I will get this from the dictionary and I will respond. And the response will be like this. The response will be, uh, I will write with blue. I will write what he asked me. Then I will write with red, the robot answer. And then I will write with green the answer, yeah, exactly what uh, 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 what he told me, yeah. So this is the message response, and the message response is the stuff that I get from the dictionary, okay. So uh, that was the answer when I understand what is inside, yeah. So when in case of how are you, he's not able to understand what uh, what is inside, and was not able to uh, 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 to give him an answer. And I will show you exactly where uh, where is this one. Yeah, he, here when he told, tell me her, your name, he answered very fast, John, because this stuff with dictionary was uh, was one hundred percent the same. So it was one hundred percent the same, like like this one, because he compared it with the uh, lowercase. 
So it was 100% uh, okay, and he said John. But if I don't find it like this in dictionary, I will go and do a Levenstein di uh, distance. So you have here a full video about uh, comparing string with Levenstein distance, where I explain how to compare the string, how to make the calculation of the Levenstein distance and understand that uh, is in percent, um, uh, where uh, um, uh, in percent, how much you want the quality. So the, uh, the, uh, the stuff that um, it's here, it's around 80%. So for example, if I have 20 characters, if 60 characters, um, uh, if four characters are wrong, then the, then then the, if that six characters are uh, four characters are wrong, the system it say say that it's a match. I explain everything with the Levenstein distance here. Okay, so I do this code. So I do a for each on the dictionary, and on this for each on the dictionary, I will uh, I will all I take all the keys from dictionary and I will compare the keys from dictionary with my string. Yeah, and I do this Levenstein distance. And here on the Levenstein distance, I provide the key from the dictionary. I provide the message that it's um, uh, with removing all the uh, all the HTML stuff and so on. I get the result, and I get the result while and if it's true or false. And I get I, I am able to configure also the percent. Yeah, so I would say that it's eighty percent. So the comparison should be eighty percent, not be perfect. Okay. So if I find this with uh, Levenstein distance, I will uh, I will respond. And I will respond for the uh, the people with uh, with the same stuff. So I will say that uh, um, with blue, I will say your question. Then I will say robot answer, and then I will provide the dictionary item as the answer that the robot will provide to you. Okay. If I find it will ever sign distance, then I I will break. I will exit the four because I don't want to to stay on the four. In the end, if I don't find any any stuff. From my database, corresponding with the uh, uh, with the Levenstein distance, with my uh, uh, with my uh, text, then I will take the decision on the end. They say, look, here uh, uh, I don't find anything even with the Levenstein distance. And for this message, uh, the robot answer will be sorry, don't have answer for this. Yeah. So remember when Mircea asked about um, uh, here, he asked me, how are you? And the robot was not able to answer to, to this one because he was not able to find something similar even with the Levenstein distance. So that's the structure of uh, a simple robot that is able to answer to any type of chats from any uh, so any direct message from your from your uh, friends from Microsoft Teams, and um, in this way you are able to put the robot to answer to your system. And if you um, if you integrate this robot with uh, uh, ML systems or other uh, artificial intelligence, uh, you can do a lot of stuff. I show you the simple stuff, what you can do with the dictionary and what are the steps for the Microsoft Teams to work with your iPad and respond to, to multiple chats with the, with the simple logic. So the idea of the movie was to present you all these steps uh, with uh, how you approach this, uh, this stuff with with a simple uh, with a simple dictionary, and you can I can share with you I will share with you all this code, and uh, on the GitHub, and after I will share you the code on the GitHub, you can develop how you want. Yeah, as usual, if you like my movies, please subscribe to my channel, please um, uh, comment to my movies, and tell me what else you want to see inside of my movies. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye bye.